Uh, so I did find a uh, matching, I think it matches well enough. I, I don't think it's exact, but I think it matches well enough. Um, a uh, IM1202 Heath kit assembly manual tells you how to calibrate, which is just completely trivial. I'll, sh I'll show you that in schematic. I don't think you really need the, need the manual, but I did print it out. Um, I don't know if you can see this well on camera, but I do have a big schematic here. So, so how does this thing work? A lot of times it's, 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 it's good to work from the back forward. Uh, so it has two Nixie tubes. Uh, let me get a pointer, keep my fingers out of the camera. And let me get things arranged here. So it has two Nixie tubes and uh, these are high voltage drivers. Um, they are 7441, 7441 and they drive the Nixies, and then you just have counters, uh, 7490 counters. Um, so these BCD counters run, and then if they, they keep going, then they'll, they'll go one more digit into the flip-flop, which will turn on the, uh, the first neon, which acts as the number one. And then if it goes one more time, click, it turns on the overload. So that's the way that works. Um, <laughs> they, they draw all of these circuits just with uh, instead of having the functionality drawn on the schematic, they just draw the IC. So that's kind of that's kind of fun. So how does this thing work? So, so imagine this is just a, a counter, regular one, two, three, four, five. It's just going to count, okay? And how fast is it going to count? Well, it's going to count this fast. It's going to count at about thirty-six kilohertz. So on its own devices, this thing will just count round and round and round and round and round and round. So you need to have a start and a stop, okay? And so here we have a start signal and here we have stop signal. So when do we start, when do we stop? Well, we do that over here. And so um, this is basically an integrator. And so this capacitor charges up. And so you give it the start signal and it goes, starts to go and then uh, this thing will ramp up until it triggers and it will give you the stop pulse, right? So start, stop, start, stop. Um, and so the speed at which you ramp is the slope and that slope is determined by the input voltage. So the amount of current that this, this uh, capacitor will be charged with is determined by the voltage that comes into this thing, okay? And um, so in order to calibrate the instrument, you want to have the right slope. So uh, in order to get the clock running at the right thing, and then anyway, you adjust the amount of current with this adjustment here. This is the DK, DC cal. That's the thing I just, re I just reached in there and jammed in there. And then if it doesn't have any input, you want it to read zero and this is the zero thing. So those, those calibrations are really, really trivial. So what if you have an AC signal? Well, you run your AC signal into this thing and this just turns AC into DC. That's all this thing does. It's just a fancy rectifier and um, RMS. So things come in and they get to RMS detected here and that generates some type of DC voltage. And then it goes in and it does its normal DC voltage things that we already just talked about. Okay. Um, and then how do you measure ohms? Well, you measure ohms with uh, current, current and resistance equals the voltage. And so these are current sources here and you have individual adjustments on the various ranges of your current of your current measurements or your ohms measurements. So uh, that's what's going on here. So it's really quite, it's really quite simple. Now, one of the really things that really surprised me on this whole thing is this little circuit down here. Um, it's a bunch of resistors that go nowhere. They actually put calibration standards on the PC board. So, so these are full range resistances for the ranges you want to calibrate calibrate over here. Uh, they give you a, a 2 meg, a 200k, a 20k, a 2k, and a, and a 0.2k. And so those are on the board to be used for calibration purposes. Um, <laughs> and they are, let's see if I can change the camera here a little bit. 
They are right down here. So here are your calibration standards and uh, little test pins here. So when you're calibrating the resistance, you just clip, clip the clip leads on here, and then you set the full scale to be correct, like two, 200K. You, you put the clip lead on here, okay? And then you go over to the, uh, uh, you go over to the 200K pot and you adjust it for full scale. And that's all you do. <laughs> that's all you do. And so this thing's, I'm not going to show it. This thing was really, really trivial to, to calibrate. So I have calibrated it and uh, that's all there was to it. So very, very simple design. Um, the addition of the calibration. Oh, another thing was um, you need to calibrate the uh, AC volts and you need to have some adjustable AC uh, volt. And most people have DC uh, power supplies on their bench, but many people don't have AC power supplies laying on their bench, okay? And so they give you another test point right over here, and this potentiometer, and all it does is it takes, uh, this is a voltage divider, and it takes th this AC voltage that comes out of the transformer and puts it on this test pin, and then with this, and with this voltage divider, you can set it to anything you want and it helps you calibrate it. You need to have a separate way of measuring the AC voltage and then you compare the two and set them. So anyway, little cal section on the instrument. I'm going to remember that. <laughs> I'm going to have to design that into something someday. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. All right. So I think I'll bundle this thing up, call it quits. Uh, like two and a half digit bolt meter here. Okay, there you go. This is the uh, Bell & Howell Schools Digital Multimeter. Uh, we'll have a 9-volt battery here. Let's check see if it's any good. Oh, my clip leads on it there. There we go. 9 point. Oh, 9 point. It's going down. It's going down. 9.4 volts. 9 point. Or 8. I'm sorry. 8.4 volts. You can watch it count, though, when you uh, connect the clip leads. It's kind of fun to watch it count. Did you? Did you? Did you? <laughs> Counts up. Counts down. Counts up. Counts down. Anyway, kind of fun.